Good day to Miss Pellegrino and to my fo- fellow audience. I am Jen Leslie Alduhina from ECA 104, Section E01. And today, we're going to discuss the Experiment 2 Universal Logic Gates. I was assigned to question and answer questions 1 to 3. So first, we need to, from the questions 1 to 2, there is a specific PDF where it has a procedures for it. And we will use that to implement NAND and NOR gates. So first, we need to set our project to experiment 2. And then after experiment 2, we will have a circuit of NAND-inverter. So create this NAND-inverter, we need to have a NAND gate with ha with only two inputs and label it as open close parenthesis a dot a prime and we need two inputs and label it as a and b And we need an output of, and we need one output, and label it as O. And connect all wires. Now we have a NAND inverter circuit example. The first condition, if two, two inputs are 0, then the output will be 1. And if two inputs are 1, then the output will be 0. And if the second condition, if, one, if the first input is 0 and the second input is 1, the output will be 1. So the third condition, if the first input is 1 and the second the second input is 0, then the output will be 1. Now we have a NAND-inverter gate. Now we need to create NAND-and gate. So to create this gate, we need to have a NAND gate with two inputs and label it as accordingly. So we need to have two inputs and label it as A and B. And one output of and label it as O. Connect it properly. Then 3.7 shows that we need to add another second NAND circuit and the output to the second NAND circuit. And label it as accordingly with only two inputs. Connect the first NAND, sir, NAND gate to the, the, to the second NAND gate and connect the second NAND gate to the output. And now we have a NAND and end, end gate. To test, if two, if two inputs are 0, then the output will be 0. The second condition shows if, zero, if the first input is 0 and the second input is 0, then the output will be 0. 
the third condition if the the third condition if the first con first input is 1 and the second input is 0 then the output will be 0 as well the fourth condition if two inputs are 1 then the output will be 1 now we have complete a NAND and N gate and we need to and next we need to create a NAND NAND eh, dash or gate So in order to build a NAND and OR gate, we need to have a two NAND gate. The first NAND gate will will have two inputs and label it as accordingly. And the second NAND gate will label it as accordingly and and will have and there will, and it will have an input of B okay two inputs name it as A and B and create another NAND gate for this and create another NAND gate with only two two inputs and thus connect connects the first NAND gate and the second NAND gate and have a output and label it as O Connect the A input to the A NAND gate and the B input to the B NAND gate and connect the A NAND gate to the third NAND gate and connect the third NAND gate to the output. Now we have a NAND dash or gate. The first condition shows that if both inputs are zero, the output will be zero and the second condition if first input if the first input is zero and the B output input is one then the output will be one the third condition if a input is one and the B input is zero then the output will be one then the fourth condition if two inputs are one then the output will be one as well to implement the nor gates we need to have another circuit and name it as nor dash invert then use the nor gate and label it as properly with two inputs then we have we will be needing a two input and label it as a and b and one output and label it as o connect the wires and we have and now we have a nor that's invert operating circuit gates so the first condition if two inputs are zero then the output will be zero the second condition if the first input is zero and the B input is one then the output will be zero the third condition if the first input is one then the second input is zero then the output will be zero and the fourth condition if both inputs are one the output will be zero next we will be needing an a nor dash or circuit gates 
to implement this, we need to have have a NOR gate and label it and label it as accordingly. And two inputs. And we need to have two inputs. Name it as A and B. And one output of and label it as O. Connect the wires. And as for six procedure six point seven, we need to add another NOR gate and connect it to the output. Connect the first NAND gate to the second NAND gate and connect the second NAND gate to the output and label it accordingly. Now we have a NOR-OR circuit gate. So the first condition, if two inputs are zero, the output will be zero. The second condition, if, if, the f if A input is 0 and the second input is 1, then the output will be 0, I will be 1. Then the third condition, if, if the first input is 1, then the second input is 0, then the output will be 1. And the fourth condition, if two inputs are 1, then the output will be 1. Now we need to make a NOR dash N circuit. We need to have two, three NOR gates with two inputs and label it and label the first NOR gate as And the second NOR gate as and the NOR and the third NOR gate. as and we will be having two inputs namely as A and B and one output and name it as O Connect the A input to the A NAND gate, NOR gate, and connect the B input to the B NAND, B NOR gate, and connect the A NAND, A NOR gate and B NAND, NOR gate to the third NOR gate, and connect the third NOR gate to the output. And now we have a a N N O R dash A N NAND gate NOR gate. First condition if two inputs are zero, then the output will be zero. And the second condition if the first input is zero and the second input is one, then the output will be zero. The third condition if the first input is one, 
and the second condition the uh, second input is b and the second input is zero then the output will be zero and the last condition if both input are one then the output will be one 